just a case of putting a piece of timber on the back here, uh, a bit of old hardwood, something that'll last, you know, in the moisture and that. Uh, you're best off drilling the holes. Uh, I've already pre-drilled these, but just to show you what I mean. Straight in. Gives you a bit of a guide, and it stops the timber from splitting as well. Just clean them out a bit more. And we'll drive a few nails in there. Just to hold that on there. Like so. So, there you go. Done. When you get your next piece, you want to line it up. Line it up on there so you've got a nice little, you know, base. Have a look at it. Find out which way the cut's running. And go. Leave a little gap there. Just a little bit of a gap. Just for moisture to run out. So we're going to cut her off there. And I'll be back in a moment. I'll just cut this one. Back again and we're leaving our bit of a gap. Find our spot and drill our holes. Basically going to do that four times. Drive my nails in. And we're done again there. The soil. Gravel, soil, and plants, everything's ready to go now. So we're going to put it all together and it'll be the final product. See what happens, eh? So first of all, we just add our gravel. You just want the gravel in there. It just gives a good bit of drainage for your plants because these plants don't like wet feet. So you want a decent you know, bit of gravel in there so it drains nice. Your bit of soil. Just pour her in. Nothing peachy. You don't pack it down because you want it loose. And just fill the holes up a bit with soil. Some will fill, some won't fill. You don't know what's going to happen. You just try it. You have something to poke in there as best. Oh man, of course, the fingers. But yeah, that's uh, basically that's what you're doing. Now, of course, I made a little error there. I should have um, held the brom in there. So I'll just get this bit of soil out. And uh, may all the splinters be facing in a downward direction when I'm doing this. <laughs> right. Uh. So. Brom, push him toward the back. And of course, I'm doing this a little bit sort of backwards with myself because of the camera, but uh, usually you'd be standing at the front of the plant out here looking at it as you're going. So, excuse me while I just step in front. <laughs> That's nice. Over the next, oh, three or four months. See this little fella here? Little pup coming up. So over the next three or four months I'll have another brom come up that side. Another red one. Get a bit of soil. Pour in a bit. Poke it down a bit. As I said, you best not have a stick with this. So. Go. This one. And pack him down nice and tight. So he sits in there nice and tight. You know? Once you've done that, you start with your other plants. So I think I think this fella here single fella, would look good just up in here, so you just sit him in there, you don't want to pack him in too tight, just yet, because you probably add a bit of soil later on, plus you're going to have more plants coming in there, and to break up the colour a little bit maybe, 
Zebra, who were you? Look at that. Just hold them apart. Dribble the soil down or get on the plant. You get on the leaves and that you can wash that off when you water it the first time. That's not a stress at all. Get him down in there, poke a bit of soil down in there, like that, and he's done. They're finished. Now, got another big bit of air plant there, I've got another air plant here. What's going to look good wet? So we'll shove this. A bit of an experiment first, which will allow me to run the roots back into here. Put him in here, pointing forward, I think. What do you reckon? Let's turn him around so the bubby one is at the top, maybe. See what I mean about you look at it? See what it looks like? Have to, you change it. He's not sitting in nice there. He just won't sit. Ah, right, there we go. There. Look. So he's going to sit there, like that. He'll do well. He'll do well in that spot, I think. Now what we can do there is get, uh, let's say, a... Where the Golgaris? He's grown to a nice little clump. You can find buy them uh, here, depending on the size you want. Uh, any anything from three to five dollars. Um, reasonable size one five dollars. Little fella like this, three bucks. Maybe feed him in there. Hard to say with this little bloke. He doesn't want to fit in there. Not going to put him there. So, back in one minute, I'm just going to pause this. Okay, we're back again, and I've selected a few more plants, so I've got a nice little, a worthy real and arty. These are a nice little plant. They grow clump out. You have a close look on this one, you'll see a couple of little pups just starting to pop up. So, and he's only been individually in the ground for two weeks. You can even see little new roots starting to grow. So they grow really well and fast. And I just think that I've been here sort of missing something tall. So I'm going to make a bit of room in the soil. Bring him in there, poke his roots down in there. And bang, he's done. He'll grow in there. He'll do well. So then maybe a... Oh, I don't know. Talantia. This is the Talantia capitata. Nice little air plant. That's it. Hanging on a bit of wire if you want to. You know, it um, grows really easy. Uh, clumps out beautiful. Um, maybe this nice piece here. Find a little spot where it's going to jam in there. Maybe. Mm, yeah. So we'll have a look at other areas. What about in under here where he's all... No. Sometimes you'll find a plant and you'll try and fit him in and forget about it. It just won't work. No. No. There we go. You can fill in up there. You can start filling around the back region there. Not that that will be facing toward anyone. As I said, that's the front there. But if I have that there, it just fills out that back region when it's sitting against the wall. Worthy of Algaris again. We might... Maybe poke him in. Sometimes you've got to move leaves, so it looks good. Yeah. 
Got to have it looking good. Doesn't want to sit there. If you don't want to play the game, don't try and force it. There we go, right there. So you got the rough idea, now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to finish this off, I'm not going to bore you with uh, putting each piece in. So I'll finish it off, I'll do it on a uh, time lapse for you so you can see what I'm doing. So it'll be a lot quicker than me just standing here yakking to you. As you can see, I've got Zebra Worthy, I've got these air plant bromelade type air plant but I don't really know what it is I don't know the full name if anyone does this stuff if anyone knows the proper name of it let me know more zebra Hawarthia uh, that's a um, Hawarthia but I don't know the name if anyone knows the name of that one I've been looking it up but I haven't been able to find it so if you can find if you can tell me let me know So, this is it, this is the finished product, what do you think? Quite nice, all done. Now, for you to buy this thing here, I would have to charge for what I've got in there and, you know, getting the stump, all that sort of work, growing the plants and everything, it takes a long time to grow these plants. Um, I'd probably have to charge 120, 140. Which I know you're going to go, ugh, because I probably would. But you're looking at $10, 15 20 25 30 35 40 43 53 About 60 bucks worth of plants, 70 bucks worth of plants in there. And the stump. Um, what I'm talking about is if you were to buy it yourself, Buy the plants yourself, you want to do it yourself, that way you've got your own creation. It's yours. Um, provide your own stump. Uh, come along, buy the plants, and uh, for an extra 10 bucks, we can sit down together and um, create it for you. So that's up to you. It'll give you something to do. You know, take an hour or so to do it, and um, show you how I do it. And you know, as I said, for 10 bucks, you couldn't go wrong. If you want to buy all the plants and provide yourself a stump. Uh, if I've got stumps here, which they're getting few and far between, but if I do find some, I'll have them here. And you can buy the stumps off me too. Uh, I'll work out a reasonable price. But it'll work out a lot cheaper than what it would just buying this whole thing here, what I've got right now that I've just done. So anyway, till next time. And my next mad concoction I come up with. Um, have fun. See us.